Since the advent of achievements way back on the Xbox 360, the concept has grabbed gamers ever since. But there are really two camps when it comes to players now. Those who choose to chase that completionist dream and those who just don't care. Completing the game has been taken one step further on the PlayStation platform thanks to that of the Platinum Trophy. But sometimes there's just one damn trophy that stands between trophy hunters and that Platinum hide they keep chasing. Here is a list of just a few that will cost you your Platinum dream. I'm Ben Roy Turner from WhatCulture.com and and this is 10 video game trophies that will cost you a platinum. Number 10. Master Star Wars Battlefront We all waited what felt like a lifetime for the return of the big Star Wars game, and then there were others waiting for Battlefront to dominate the consoles. So when EA's version of the Galactic Civil War hit in 2015, players around the galaxy were ready to get to work and grind out that multiplayer centric platinum. Though when the list finally went live, they were greeted by a horrible reality. As expected, this multiplayer centric Star Wars game had a bunch of multiplayer trophies, but there were just one that stuck out, the Master Trophy. And its criteria? Complete all the missions on Master Difficulty. Now hearing this doesn't sound too bad, does it? Well, wait until you meet the AI. These will put any human player to shame, and these bots certainly weren't trained by Imperials. Their aim is laser accurate and you just can't escape them. To this day, Battlefront 2015 has one of the rarer Platinums on the PlayStation, thanks to this one. Number 9. Great Dame, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Thanks to Blue Point, we have one of the best looking games on the PlayStation 5 right now, with Demon Souls. And it's also thanks to them that we can play the classic Metal Gear Solid games on current hardware. Well, kind of thanks to PlayStation Now. But these remasters are up there to play, and with full trophy support at least. So what does this mean? Well, diehard fans are going to chase their dreams, and platinum some of the most influential games for the turn of the century. Though for some reason MGS 2's trophy list seems to be designed to cause players, well, a lot of pain, which is strange because the pain doesn't even come to the series until Snake Eater and that platinum's dead easy. MGS2 however, that's going to require at least 5 playthroughs and will set you back about 80 hours. Thanks in part to the Great Dane Trophy which requires players to collect all the dog tags on the plant chapter. That means every guard on every difficulty from very easy to extreme has to be held up and made to surrender their dog tag. And the real kicker here, there's no easy way around it and it will be a slog. Number 8. Nade King Master Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. When it comes to the modern battle royale game, we all really have player unknowns battlegrounds to thank for it. Yes, some games did come before it, but this style of play really didn't blow up until PUBG. So when the game finally came to PlayStation platforms, surely the list was going to be there for the taking, especially for those who can obtain the mythical chicken dinner, right? <laughs> nah, not really. Nade King Master aside, the trophy list in this game is quite punishing, and besides that there are many trophies here that are straight up bugged. So Nade King Master requires chicken dinner hunters to get 50 kills with a grenade, which at first glance seems simple, but not in PUBG. If this trophy were in Call of Duty or a Battlefront game then sure it'd be fine, but getting a grenade kill in PUBG is a real art. Or dumb luck. First you have to find the bloody things and then you've actually got to kill someone with them. Cooking the grenade is normally the best way to go, but sometimes you might just be doing so and then bang, you're dead. Number 7. Hunter slash Firefly The Last of Us The Last of Us is one of the greatest video games ever to be committed to code. It's just a scientific fact. Joining Joe and Ellie as they journey across America riddled with an outbreak might seem like a bit of a basic premise and a little too real right now, but it's the relationships these two form along the way that really completes the experience. Though when it comes to this trophy list, it really falls flat. Nothing about this list is really fun at all, but the bane of many players' existence as they try to get the platinum will normally be online trophies. The Last of Us has a few of these, but there are two that stand out, two that require 10 plus hours of dedication, and then can be just missed outright. That is a crime. Hunter and Firefly both require the player to complete 12 weeks of the multiplayer sub game, which is bolted on to standard matches. So be sure to plan out the tasks ahead, because if you fail to collect enough supplies or kill enough players, well, it'll be game over and back to week one. Number 6. The Netherlands Leader, Fallout 4 Fallout 3 might have had one of the better trophy lists when it comes to the 7th generation of video game consoles. It requires time, but everything is fairly achievable. Then Fallout 4 rocks up on the 8th generation and screws it all up, because this time Bethesda is going to make us all work for this one. There was one trophy here that should have sent alarm bells off everywhere. It was a sign of things to come, and none of us saw it coming. The Benevolent Leader trophy requires players to focus on the base building aspect of Fallout 4, something that would become all too familiar later on in Fallout 
176. In this game, it was a real damn pain to get that settlement up to 100% maximum happiness of joy. They would just never cheer up. Watch or read as many guides online as you wish. In the end, it's just a waiting game. Now, if Preston would just stop hassling us about other settlements needing help, this might actually be manageable. Number five, Gasmoxian Slug, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled. Is Crash Team Racing the best kart racer to ever grace video game consoles? Is it a kart racer for those who want to join the big leagues and leave the playpen behind? Well, that's up for debate, but there's no doubt it's certainly not a pushover when it comes to trophies. CTR was always most surprising when it came to the story mode because it actually had one. No other kart racer to this point had even bothered. Here was a compelling villain that we all wanted to be in the form of nitrous oxide and the world was actually in danger. Sure, the story eventually came down to winning a bunch of races, but it was the time trials where we were all pushed to our limits. To really send oxide home packing, players would need to beat his and Entropy's times on all tracks to get the Gasmoxian Slug Trophy to pop. That means playing all 31 tracks at least three times. Only by mastering each track and the boost mechanic will anyone ever achieve this platinum. Number four, the final chapter, Friday the 13th, the game. Now sure this has a cheeky title, but the final chapter trophy for this asymmetric online multiplayer game is more likely gonna be the last stand between you and that platinum. And why? Well, it requires someone to play over a thousand matches online as Jason. Now there's also one in the similar vein for the counselors, but more often than not, you'll find yourself playing as one of them. There's just more chance of it. There is no sure bet that players will ever get to be Jason in a session, which really does leave this one up for chance. Now it is possible to boost this one with friends, but even still, that's a thousand matches for you to enter and play as Jason. And now with the dedicated servers being shut off just three years after launch, the Platinum will most probably remain at 0.1% unlocked, long after the last player has given up and run home to their mummy. Number three, Infallible, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Multiplayer games have always had a different challenge to them when it comes to achieving a Platinum trophy. When you conquer other humans for your prize, that just hits different. So when it comes to Fall Guys, literally most of the trophies on the list, focus on beating your fellow man, be it by climbing over them, stealing their balls or pulling out their tails. Victory should always be the main goal. However, it's rare for a developer to tout just how impossible it is to get the platinum in their game. But the folks at Mediatonic did just that. And well, for the most part, they were right. The infallible trophy has crushed most players' dreams of getting that platinum, as it requires to win five episodes in a row. Seems pretty much impossible, right? Well, not really as Neil Druckmann managed to do it, and then he went and bragged about it on Twitter. Cheers, Neil. Number two, Ghost of a Chance, Resident Evil. For the most part, the Resident Evil games have had reasonable trophy lists. Sure, they might be hard or even require multiple runs, but Capcom normally do a decent job for trophy hunters, though this wasn't the case back in 2015, when the remastered remake of Resident Evil got its list. This one's more of a time sink than being super difficult, as the Resident Evil remake on PS3 and 4 will require about 30 hours to be. The real kicker here though is playing the game at least six times to get that sweet platinum, all whilst achieving different feats as both characters. Then throw in a few difficulty focused ones for good measure, right? That's a list! Well not really as there's one so torturous most people won't even bother trying. Ghost of a Chance takes the standard shambling enemies and some bosses and turns them invisible. Thankfully they can be seen via handily placed mirrors and will become visible once they attack Chris or Jill, but that won't last long either. Number one, Mine Laban, Wolfenstein 2, the New Colossus. BJ Blazkowicz and Nazi killing go hand in hand. It has done since 1992. The last things most players heard as they put down waves of Nazis back in Wolfenstein 3D was Mein Leben, and it used to bring so much joy. Though with the most recent entry in the main franchise, Mein Leben has taken on a different life of its own. And this is all because of a humble little bronze trophy. Yeah, that's right, a bronze trophy. The Mein Leben difficulty requires players to go through the game without dying and without saving, all whilst being as hard as I am dead incarnate. Yeah, that hard. This permadeath run is daunting and well, pretty much impossible. Yeah, some players are beating this, but I want to know what dark magic they're harnessing. Because by the end, if you aren't crying after mine Laban, then Blaskovitz certainly will. And that's our list. That's 10 video game trophies that will cost you a platinum. Let us know if you've beaten these games down below, or let us know if you've had other trophies that have stopped you in your tracks. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at WCultureGaming and follow me at BenRoyTurner. And until next time, no more games.